Leafcutter ants are fascinating social insects. Known for their highly organized colonies and unique farming behavior, they are the farming experts. They don't eat leaves directly. They use them to cultivate fungus, which serves as their primary food source. They carry leaf fragments back to their nests, chew them into a pulp, and use them to grow a special type of fungus. In a few years, their well-organized colonies can grow millions of individuals, divided into different castes and division of labor. Queens reproduce and can live for over a decade. Workers vary in size and perform tasks like cutting leaves, defending the nest, or tending the fungus. Soldiers larger workers with strong mandibles to protect the colony. The superficient foraging create well-organized trails to vegetation, sometimes stripping entire trees of leaves. Workers can carry leaf pieces 50 times their own weight. Their underground mega-nests can span hundreds of square meters. With chambers for fungus gardens, waste disposal, and brood care. Some nests have specialized ventilation systems to regulate humidity for the fungus. They depend on their cultivated fungus for food, while the fungus relies on the ants for propagation. Some species have a mutualistic relationship with bacteria that produce antibiotics to protect the fungus from harmful molds. In some regions, they are considered pests because they can defoliate crops like citrus, coffee, and eucalyptus. Some atta species are capable of defoliating an entire citrus tree in less than 24 hours. The soldier ants have powerful mandibles that can deliver a painful bite. Some species even spray formic acid as an additional defense. They thrive in tropical and subtropical regions, from the southern U.S. to Argentina. Leafcutter ants are a prime example of advanced social organization in insects. Showcasing agriculture, caste systems, and complex nest engineering millions of years before humans, they also known as one of the top 10 most hardworking animals. Be careful not to get bitten.